Here we are again, a new day, a new experiment, fixing, name it. So, um, you see, a lot of people still ask me about uh, Soundcraft uh, FX12 mixer and the way I replaced the potentiometers, the faders, you know, volume faders or something. Anyway, these potentiometers, as you can see in this uh, photo, they are 10 kilo ohms, 4 to 2 a vn so i have two of these guys and they are planted here exactly in the same original position what i want to do is to measure each and every single connector here to see exactly what we're dealing with so let's put some numbers here so we got the number one two three this is the ground you see this is mechanical ground four five six seven eight another ground uh, of course nine and number ten same story here a little farther let's say one two three four five six seven eight nine and another ten. Okay. so once again this is a 10 kilo ohms and uh, this is i think it's a mono yeah, it's a mono potentiometer. And now, let's have the multimeter on continuity mode first. And let's see, let's see if we have any connection here. Mm, yeah, and these guys are 1.1 ohms. One, two. Let me see that. These guys here, same story. Okay, 1.1 1 .1 ohms, 0, 0,9, 1 1.1 ohms, 0.9. nothing here, okay, 1 with 3, nothing, 1 with 4, nothing, 1 with 5, nothing, okay, So for the beginning, we have between 1 and 2, we have like 1.1 ohms. So this is a kind of, you know, they are together for sure. As long as we have a 10 kilo ohms potentiometer, I'm going to my 20 kilo ohms on my ohm meter. If you have a auto ohm meters shouldn't uh, bother about that. So let's see, number one with number two, yeah. One with four, and we have 18 kilo ohms. Probably this one said 10 kilo ohms. I'm not sure, maybe it's uh, damaged. 16, okay. This is something very, very interesting. So let's put this in the middle. So pin one with pin four, I have 13.33 kilo ohms. Hmm. Okay, let's write this down. One, two, four, 13.3 kilo ohms. Okay, once again, uh, probably two with four is the same. Nothing here. Two with five, nothing coarser here. All right. Let's go further. Let's see. We test one. I think one and two, they are together. But let's have only one. So, nothing else around here. How can we do this? So, I got an 18. As you can see here. One and four. But if I'm going to one to five, I have 18.57. One, five. 18.57 something kilo ohms all right let me check the other guy one with five 16.8 so here is number one this is number two or b number two one two we have the same 1.9 ohms one to four we have the 
Yeah, let me see. 16.63. I don't understand. They should be identical. Well, I'm not sure if they are identical, in fact, because I can't see any writings here. But I suppose this is the 10 kilo ohms. I barely see a 422. So let's bet on number one here, okay? So let's bet on this guy. This is sure 10 kilo ohms, uh, 422A. This one here. All right. Once again. One, two, two. It's like that. One to four. 13.33, it's right there, one to five. 18.6, okay. Then let's go here. We got nothing on the other side. All right, but now let's try number 10 with number six, nothing. 10 with seven, nothing. Kind of funny. Let's go on 200 kilo ohms. Nothing here. Nothing here. No connection. Anything. Hmm. That's kind of funny. So I believe number five. I believe number five is the. Yeah, that's the cursor. 13.3, this is very constant, 1 to 4, but 1 to 5, it's dependable of the, yeah, very clear. So, finally, we have something like this, one here, and four down here, this is, these are the end of the, you see, one with four, this is the resistor, something like this. The resistor itself. Okay, and here we have number five, which is a kind of, which goes in here. Measuring one, with five, we should have a different value dependable of the positioning of the potentiometer. Let's see, the other guy, is this the same? 16.6, 19, 11 point. Okay, so this is another value of potentiometer. Oh, it's same, I think so, but anyway, What's important here, it's number one and four. These are the end of the resistor here, one and four, 10 kilo ohms. And then number five, it's the cursor or the, I don't know how you call that, the sledge, <laughs> let's call it. But what about these guys? I got no connection here, nothing, nothing, nothing in between, nothing. Pure mechanical. That's funny. Let me check number two with number five, 10.9, 11.2. Well, we have a different, we have a different uh, number here, zero. In fact, it's not zero, it's OM. Thirteen point three, six point nine. I'm talking about number two, seventeen point seven, thirteen point four. Well, I can't say more because I'm not sure these potentiometers have been replaced, so they're not in good shape. I really don't understand what's happening here. But anyway, the most important uh, connection here, it's number one with number five. That's for sure. Because we have the 
the value here. Okay, I don't know if it's clear, but I hope it is. So like I said, one, five, and what's happening with number two here, it's a mystery for me. Okay, because at first it's looking like it's 1.1 ohms. If I move this guy here, it's 0 0.7, sh almost short. If I move it here, 0 0.7 and in the middle, 0 0.7. Now, what? <laughs> yeah, so it's looking one with two, they are together. Okay. I hope it's useful, you know, this is for... Uh, uh, okay, this is by request, of course. And uh, if you have any more questions, please don't hesitate, ask me, and I'll be back with an answer if I can, of course. Please subscribe, like, and of course, uh, have fun. Why not? Bye-bye.